There's gonna be a tropical storm here in 24 hours. So let's walk you through what we do to survive a tropical storm in the Outer Banks living in this RV. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up our water tanks. Just in case we lose water for any duration, we can hold 110 gallons of water in this thing. So I'm gonna fill the tanks. It takes like 45 minutes to fill our tanks. It's crazy. Thankfully, today's Wednesday and tomorrow is a recovery day, rest day. I could do zone two on the Concept 2 bike in the garage in that thing, even if it's a torrential downpour outside. It's gonna be really windy, lots of rain. So I'm gonna get the rest of session two done today so I can start packing up our stuff. Anything that I'm afraid is gonna blow away or that really doesn't want to get wet is gonna go inside the RV. I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Blokes. Blokes is a modern health optimization service for men that's devoted to your physical, sexual, and mental health. From the convenience of your home or wherever you're at on the planet, Blokes helps you test your hormones, consult with a board certified clinician about your results, and receive a personal plan and treatment just for you. I started this process just about three weeks ago where I went into a CVS or a Walgreens, I can't remember, just to get the lab work done. It was super simple. They scheduled the appointment for me and I'm not sure how many ounces of blood they took, but it was a good amount. I just trusted that they know what they're doing. They know the process there at LabCorp. And then about a week later, I did a one-on-one -on -one consult with one of their clinicians. And I have a PDF that gave me all of my results and going through that PDF and that outcome with their clinician for literally an hour on the phone helped me understand where I'm at in all of my hormones. I haven't had them tested since I was 40. I'm 47 now. It's really interesting to see where the results are. They're going to create a personalized plan and send me personalized supplements based on my specific biomarkers. And what's really cool is they work with a lot of CrossFitters in the sport of CrossFit. And I let them know, you know, obviously I am a drug free participant in this sport and they can guarantee that any of the interventions or any of the supplements they provide will not affect anything with regards to that component of the sport. Next month, I'll have even more to share with you about this about how I'm feeling, but I'm really pleased with the process. The team is fantastic. They hear me, they get me, they understand the sport of CrossFit, and I'm excited to see where this goes. If you're ready to step up your game and invest in your long-term well-being, head over to blokes.co forward slash Jason Grubb and take the first step towards a healthier you. That's B-L-O-K-E-S dot C-O forward slash Jason Grubb and get 20% off your labs. but my thumbs are just so, so sore this week. I think the moisture in the air makes everything just wet. Hands are wet, so the barbell just tears up my hands, especially my thumbs. So when there's barbell cycling like this, the last thing I wanna do is just hook grip my thumbs. I've just got one more set, and then these thumbs can just, can just be relieved for the rest of the day. Weather update, 4.43, Tuesday. Tropical storm is on its way and it's still not raining. So second session is to be continued right now. I had to stop for a team meeting. Now it's time to get some stuff done. And I broke my ski erg during the first part of the second session. So I'm gonna fix that tonight or tomorrow. Just give me something to do while it's raining outside. Storm is coming, it's coming fast. in Tempest. Crab did it.
way I rest between sets is I just listen to my podcast. No, that's part of it. I spend the first minute or so just breathing like my body needs to breathe. I'm not trying to overly control my breathing. Just let it do its thing. Let my heart rate come down naturally. I try not to think about the next part of the workout because I'm not ready. Like mentally, I'm not ready. Push myself. I just did. And now, I mean, I'm over halfway through my rest period or I'm about a halfway, I guess. And uh, yeah, from here on out, it'll just be breathing, calming down, letting things just kind of get back to a high baseline. And then the last 20 or 30 seconds, map my way through the next section of the workout, which is just what I did, but backwards. It'll be walking lunges. It's move with intensity, move with a purpose there. Burpee box jump overs might feel a little bit better here than they did as I did the row on the first round into the burpee box jump overs. Here it's lunges into them. So I'm gonna try to maybe develop a little bit faster pace knowing that I can just suffer on the rower later. I've got all this stuff stacked under here. So if water pools up, it's just touching part of it. That's fine. You know, I'm gonna put my stakes here. These boogie boards, I don't know where I'm gonna put them. They're sandy. They can't go with any of my stuff, but they also can't blow away because they're just rentals. This is also, this is also new. So I bought this, it's called a bike tent. So it's kind of for RVing and you're supposed to put bikes in it so that they stay out of your RV and out of the weather. Well, I have all of our bikes actually under the RV over there, but inside here I have a giant echo bike and I can put the rower in here too. I can fit actually a decent amount of stuff in here, but basically by having the echo bike not in my office, I have so much extra room in there. Like I can move around a little bit. So for like $60 or whatever this was, and it, it maximizes the space in my office, use this space. We're gonna see how this tent holds up to tropical f storm forces. Still not easy to get in and out. It's not gonna be that windy. I mean, it's gonna be windy, but it's not gonna be that windy. I've had chairs outside and like, well, they blew away a little bit, but 50 miles an hour gusting is just not that big of a deal. Maybe it'll feel stronger than that, but it's gonna be windy, just not that windy. And watch me eat all these words, we'll see. Now I'm all sandy from those damn surfboards, from those boogie boards. We put the bikes under here, fishing poles. We don't really care. It'd be great if they blew away. And we're gonna put the Tesla up on this part here because it's just a little bit elevated like it should be fine let's put it there uh, i thought that that picnic table might blow over it weighs about eight thousand pounds so it's not going anywhere we are just about there so another thing that i'm gonna do in preparation for the storm is i'm gonna wash my rv now, this may sound strange but i actually want to think of the storm as rinsing it off because at our last RV site, we were parked under a tree and there was like these birds that pooped all over the Tesla and all over the front of the RV. Just this like red, it looked like they were like pooping raspberries under the RV. And so I'm gonna scrub and I may end up scrubbing the whole RV, rinsing it off a bit. And then the storm is really gonna rinse it off. But uh, I don't know why I'm doing it. I feel like doing it, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, it's legit. Uh, it's, it's really, really windy out. Uh, this is a tropical storm in an RV. Uh, been up for a couple of hours, just can't get to sleep. And I heard the lid of the ice barrel flip off and I was just laying there. I was like, I've got to go get it. <laughs> I don't want to lose the lid to the ice barrel. So no contacts, can't see. 
but I went out, found it, and I put a 45 pound weight on top. So uh, that should do it, but oh, it's crazy out there. All right, we have to go outside, right? And it's, it's really windy outside, and it's supposed to get warm. And right now it is 922. Let's go. Are you going to? Yeah. Are you going to put your ice down? Lost the lid to the ice barrel last night. So I came out, I found the lid. I put that weight on it. So we We got a stuck handle here. It is stuck. We're gonna disassemble this and figure out what's going on. Oh, that's this a little bit goofy. So let's fix it. All right. The magic of the RV is that I do have a bike in the RV still. I have one out in the tent, one right here. Do some zone two and then maybe uh, go take a look at the waves and round up the state. We're still having tropical storm force winds, which is not expected. So just need a better night's sleep tonight. I don't know. Get some work done here. Officially, we've survived, but it's still windy. It's heck out here. Should we go try to check out the, the ocean? Sure. Henry, go up there and see if the sand is spraying. I'm not going up there if it's all sandy, but do not go near the water. Don't want to lose the kids. Not yet. Do you, I hear the ocean. Do you hear it? I don't like them up there at all. Hey, wait up! Gosh, the ocean sounds so loud. It's wild. That ocean is so high and so ferocious compared to what it was. And over here, we can see how high the waves actually came, how high the water actually came. Like our RV is just right over there, but water came up onto the dunes. That's crazy. their first name storm on to the next adventure your best days are ahead of you get bolder not older